Okay, now that we have uh, talked about the structure of the Milky Way, let's talk about classification of stars based on their age, okay? These are called population one and population two stars. Population two star is the name for old stars. Those are the ones that formed when the universe was young and therefore they are old, very, very old compared to uh, us. They formed when the universe was young and there was not much metallic substances to make stars. When, a we s when the astronomer says metallic, he means anything heavier than a hydrogen and a helium. Remember the Big Bang gave us hydrogen, hel helium, uh, and a little bit of lithium, the first, second, third elements of the periodic table. So these stars were the first ones that formed Therefore, we would expect them to mostly have hydrogen, helium, not much other heavier elements. Population one stars are the newer stars which have higher percentage of heavier metallic substances because why? Previous generations of stars died. They made those heavier elements. They spewed out them out into outer space, and then new stars began forming, you see? So, if I had to tell you uh, like which one I expect, I wouldn't expect pop two star, a lot of them to have Earth-like planets around them, right? Because pop two star were formed very old and they mainly have hydrogen helium, so they wouldn't, they're not likely to have Earth-like ter terrestrial planet around it. A pop one star is more likely to have an Earth-like planet, you see? So they have a high heavier metallic substances like carbon iron. Now we subclassify them. Extreme pop two. So we take the pop two and we break it down into two groups. Extreme pop two. They are the oldest ones of the pop two category. And where are they found in the Milky Way? They're found in the halo. Where? The halo is this one, you see? Those, those are the oldest, oldest stars, po extreme pop two. And they are also found in the globular clusters. GC, GC is short for globular cluster. So those guys have the extreme pop two. They have less than 0.3% metals in it. They have highly elliptical orbits. So they go around the center with highly elliptical orbit. And they are 10 to 14 billion years old. Like they can't be older than 14 because again, the universe hasn't been longer than that. So that's about as old as you can get. Intermediate pop two are a slightly younger than those guys. They are in the nucleus, so they are here in the nucleus of the uh, Milky Way. They have about 0.8% metal, so they formed later in the generation of the universe, okay? And they go around the center of the Milky Way also in more or less elliptical orbits. They have moderately elliptical orbits and they are five to 10 billion years old. So they, see the other ones were 10 to 14 billion years away from us. And these ones were formed five to 10 billion. Okay, now we go to the pop one stars, the younger ones. We break those guys up into uh, category. Intermediate pop one are in the disk. So those would be these guys here, the disk. And then our sun would be this category, you see? So now you shouldn't be surprised that the sun has an Earth-like planet around it. It has Earth because our sun formed, a th it's a th like a third generation star. Extreme pop, two, uh, pop twos formed first. Then intermediate pop twos formed. And then the sun is um, intermediate pop one, you see? So if we had to say it, we can say it this way. The sun is a third generation star, okay? And then the fourth generation star are the extreme pop ones. They're the youngest. That's fourth generation. So this is kind of similar to what we do like to people, you know, we call them the baby boomers and, uh, uh, you know, MTV generation and this and this. Uh, we give people different names based on the decade that they were born. So it's this similar. Uh, they have 1.6% metals. That's the intermediate pop one. 
They have slightly elliptical orbits, and they are 0.2 to 5 billion years old. Our sun is about 4.5 to 5 billion years old, you see? So it formed 4.5 to 5 billion years ago. Extreme pop one, they are even younger. They're the fourth generation of stars. They are in the spiral arms. So if we drew the face value and then we looked at the spiral arm, mostly the spiral arms have the youngest uh, generation of stars. They have about 3% metals. They have circular orbits and they have 200 million years old or younger. Highest chance of having an Earth-like planet around it. Why? Because they're formed much later, you see. However, whether life has evolved there or not, that's a different issue. Because if they're young, maybe they haven't had chance for life to evolve, you know. So they might have an Earth-like planet, but whether it has life or not, that's a different question. 